So we've talked about soil biology and how the soil biology's role is really in helping to break down organic matter and help drive those nutrient cycles. Now many of us when we think about crop nutrition we turn to mineral fertilizer and we can use a cup as an example of how much nutrition our crop requires and a nice colored drink as an example of our fertilizers to think about that process because what happens in reality is if this is the amount of fertilizer our crop needs we apply it and we add it and we add it and we add it and we keep adding but occasionally what happens is we actually decide to add more than we need and all that happens then is we actually just start to waste it and it doesn't go into the pool it's not available it's just lost to the environment so when we get the amount right we think great we've got the job done but in theory what then happens is the biology comes along and goes oh yum I like the look of that and it takes out about two-thirds Now we call that process immobilization because the biology, represented by myself, has taken it out of our system. But really immobilization is not quite the right word because that biology is going to, just like me, recycle that fertilizer and put it back into the system and help us grow our crops. Now that might take a year, it might take months, and it'll be depending on temperature, it will depend on your soil type, and it'll depend on the amount of water you have available. The healthier your biological system is, the more carnivorous, the more omnivorous members of that biological community there'll be, and they will be eating the other biology and helping to recycle that process and drive that cup filling, if you like, as it happens. And of course, your plant's gonna be taking out of this all the time, and the biology will just be dribbling it back into the system. It's a wonderful system, you've just got to trust it.